Introduction to exercise 5B on the circumference and perimeter of a sector, page 302. No, do you have a question? Because we are focusing on something that I hope might be a little bit uh, familiar. This diagram you see on the left hand side is very important purely based on the letters of D and R here. What does the D stand for again in this case? Diameter. Thank you very much, diameter. Yeah, remember the diameter is this whole length here. So if you go to Bunnings, for example, you can try to find buy a dowel rod or something like that. It'll always tell you the diameter, which is the whole length, the longest length in the circle. The R, of course, stands for the radius, okay, which is always half of the diameter. I've included both formulas here. You don't need to memorize both. Just one will do, because they're exactly the same thing. I like to just use this one because it's got R in it. But the formula is C equals 2 pi R. Don't have enough of that. Thank you. The formula is 2 pi R. So the circumference, which a reminder, it's the perimeter of a circle, is double pi times R. If you've got a calculator, you'd be expected to put in your calculator. If you don't, just leave it as pi. No need to get your, get your calculations too complicated. This one, I feel that you've done that last year, so I won't touch on it too much. We'll jump straight to an example, and then we'll jump backwards. I'm hoping you've copied down this example here. If not, I'll ask you to do that now for me. Find the circumference of the circle. Pretty straightforward. Of course, you'll need a calculator for this. Formula is 2 pi r. So what you might like to do is to write your variables down. You don't have to. I'm going to do this again just to show you, but you do not need to do this every time. So your circumference... So it's C equals to 2 times pi times R. I'm going to say that pi. Oops. Apologies, my pen's not working right now. But 2 pi R. My R in this case is going to equal to 4. So that means my radius equals to 4. I'll open up my calculator. I'll go 2 times pi. Now, of course, pi, we go shift, and then that bottom button on the bottom, it'll be different, of course, depending on yours. And I'm going to multiply that by 4. So it'll be 2 times pi times r, which is 2 times pi times 4 in this case, which will give me an answer of 8 pi. But the question says correct to two decimal places, which is why I need that calculator. I get 25.13. And I'm going to do a little squiggly line to show it's not exactly, but approximately 25.13. And I'm going to write meters squared. That's it. Oh, not squared. What have I done wrong? Cube. Not cube. Cube would be a 3D shape. Remove the 2. We're removing the 2 because the question says, what is the circumference? Circumference is a distance, which means it's only a line. It should just be meters, no squared. So, there we go. 25.13 meters. Let's jump back up to here. This is probably going to be the new bit for today, or this year particularly. Perimeter of a sector. So that's just going to be the distance around the outside where we have a kind of like a slice of pizza shape. A sector is a portion of a circle enclosed by two radii, which is just two radius. And arc. So you see the radius, radius, and then you have that arc. We know that formula for the area of the length on the outside. So we can just cut it up as we need to. Good afternoon, Art. Alright, so just a couple of quick notes. Semicircle, of course, is half circle, and quadrant is a quarter of a circle. I'm gonna jump straight into an example and then we're good to go. Example on the bottom right hand side. The perimeter of this sector. We're going to have, well, I know that's two millimeters, so this one has to be two millimeters as well. I'm going to use my formula. I'm going to start with the big dotted line. So imagine if I was to go like this all the way around, and we're going to draw this big circle. Imagine you're doing that. Well, circumference would be C equals two times pi times, and my radius in this case is two, so two, which is approximately... So I'm going to go 2 times pi times 2 is 12.57. <clears throat> Approximately 12.57. Now, if the whole distance on the outside is 12.57, I've got to figure out a way to ha only get 80% of that. Or 80, sorry, not 80%. Well, oh, don't make that mistake. 80 degrees of that. What's the whole circle degrees? 360. 
So what's the fraction I should write? Perfect. So I'm going to go 12.57 times 80 over 360. Please make sure you copy this down as well. Put that in your calculator. So times 80 divided by 360 gives me 2.79. Approximately 2.79. Gabe, you're writing this down, yes? Good. So we found the distance from here to here. Does that look about right? Us? Does that look about right, yeah? yeah? I'm assuming that's what that, that means, yeah? Okay. 2.79 looks about right. Now, of course, that's not the whole perimeter. That is just this length outside. So what do I have to add to find the whole perimeter? No, I just need to add the other side, the so radar. Or the radius. Two plus two. So I'm going to write my final answer on the top right here. I'm going to say the final answer of the perimeter equals to 2.79 plus 2 plus 2, which gives me an answer of 6.79. And don't forget our units. It is a distance, so we'll leave it in millimeters. So just to recap what I've done with this question, all I did was I did the, well, imagine it's a whole circle. I find the circumference of that. And I just section it off into what I want. In this case, it's 80 degrees, not 80%. Do not make that mistake. It's 80 degrees out of a total of 360, so I'm just going to times it by 80 over 360. And I need to add these sides as well. Any questions about that? When we do area, area of a sector, same thing. We'll have to find that proportion of the whole circle. So just keep that in mind. What I'd like.